Hello, everybody. Welcome to the museum. We're going to spend the night at it. We're recording this at night, at night right now. Which is why it's so dark in here. Yeah, that's because this gun, the sun is not in your room anymore. The gun. Ingenious. Oh, I thought that said indigenous and I was really confused for a second. <laughs> it's Genghis Khan! Genghis Khan, you know what that sounds like? Giga Chad. Giga Chad. Yeah, Genghis Khan is actually like ancient Mongolian for Giga Chad. Don't Google that. Oh, he's here. Hey, Mike. Hey, Larry. I forgot his name was Larry. Ew. It's a lot like Larry from Larry the Cucumber. Ew. Hey, why don't I go tell the little corn cob you're here? Great, great. That's great. Yeah, thanks. How many belt clips? He needs all those phones and PDAs and Blackberries and other accessories. PDA? There's no PDA in my YouTube video. Public display of awesome. <laughs> Check out this phone that just like constantly has its screen turned on, I guess. So like an always on display. That's not an always on display. That is just the phone is always on. I forgot I made my background nice again. And before it was Thomas doing the Coke face. Um, I, I want it back. I don't know how much more of this Nikki can take. I mean, every couple months, it's a new career, a new apartment. I'm trying to figure things out right now, okay? I don't think that Nikki should stay with you. This is really riveting content right now. I know, right? I really love watching the discussions of custody and divorce on our channel. This is great. This is night at the museum, not day in divorce court. Go back, go back. You see that? You see that text up on the right? <laughs> Shut up, dude. Shut up. It would be so easy, too, because the sky's like a solid, so you can just... <laughs> What is Essex, though? Thomas, explain Essex in a giant paragraph. <laughs> yeah, you did it. I was using Microsoft Paint. <laughs> you know what? It worked. It worked fine. Is that what you really? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I did use Paint. After Effects is on your computer and like licensed and logged in. Paint. <laughs> Funny. I need a job tomorrow. I might have one thing. It turned down everyone I've sent over there, but. Uh... Great. So this place that needs an employee has turned down every person that has applied there. Because uh, they can't survive the night. They get eaten by the skeleton. Yeah, it's a lot like Five Nights at Freddy's, except it's one night at a museum. The exhibits get a little rowdy at night. <laughs> no! Teddy Roosevelt, right? Yes. Great visionary. No, that's not Teddy Roosevelt. That's uh, that's Robin Williams. That is um, John Adams right there. Amber Bam Binkin. <laughs> Amber Bam Binkin, my favorite Pemdeton. Please don't touch the exhibits. Is that one? I cannot tolerate this type of chaos. Oh, I love R Ricky. R Richard. He was the funniest character in Spy Kids 4D all the time in the world. Was he in that? He was the freaking dog. <laughs> Security, is that the room where they keep the secure? No! It's actually where they keep this old man that's about to answer. Where is he? I'll beat him with my fist! <laughs> He's my favorite character. Now listen, Lunchbox. Don't try anything funny. That old man right there is just Jude in 50 years. Oh, that's true. Do you want the job or not, Snack Shack? <laughs> that's just you. Want the job or not, Snack Shack? You really think he's the one? Oh, yeah. Welcome to the Night Guards, Larry. It's Morbin time, Bubblebee. <laughs> <laughs> Morbius Prime. <laughs> Optorbius. And this, of course, is the Hall of African Metal. Is that Aslan? From the hit series, The Chronicles of Narnia? Do not cite <laughs> the dark magic to me, witch. I was there when it was written. I used to know a family that the only movie they let their kids watch was Narnia, but they couldn't watch Prince Caspian because there was a kissing scene in Prince Caspian. <laughs> it's like actual witchcraft in Narnia, but like, you can't see the lips. <laughs> Lips touching lips, no. Guys, leave a comment if you want us to watch The Chronicles of Narnia at some point. We should watch it backwards. It has <laughs> been like 12 years since I have seen that movie. Keanu, what are you doing? I can't see. <laughs> you don't need to see, just hear. Whoa. It's a museum at night. There's going to be an imposter. We're watching Spaceballs in two days. Save the Among Us jokes. We are watching Spaceballs with the hit content creator, Oimpaville. Ah! Yeah, get subscribed if you want to see that one. Okay, very funny, Cecil. Yeah, very funny. He's pranking you by moving a 1,000 pound dinosaur. How do you know how to operate a water fountain? You're millions of years old. And I'm sure it knows its way around the museum. I want to jump on its head and then it do the... 
you know, the Mario thing. I love it so. I want it, I want that to happen. It's it's a dry Koopa. They're called, it's called dry, dry bones, bones actually. <laughs> just like it's called dry bones. Actually, it's called the dry bones Koopa, which originated in um Mario Three. It's not even dry bones Koopa, you nerd. It's just dry bones. Um. Oh God forbid they're Koopas. They're not. They're dry bones. God, have you ever played <laughs> Mario? Hang on. This is not what I wanted. Um, I typed really fast, and it was just drip bone combustion. <laughs> oh my god. All right. Give me what I desire. Oh, hey, he's on the G floor. We're on the gaming floor. That's where all the G's hang out. I'm always on the gaming floor. Wherever I take my Steam Deck, that's the G floor, because it's the gaming gamer gamer <laughs> floor. Oh, it's a Steam Deck. <laughs> that war doesn't look very civil. Uh, so uncivilized. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> this is so bad. You know, as stupid as these movies were, I don't think these are like awful movies. They kind of had their own vibe about them. Hey, guys, I'm getting a call from ABC Fitness. Hold on. I'll put it on speaker. Let's see what you got. Hi, this is Cindy Teeters with ABC Fitness. Did you know the billing information? <laughs> was that a real person? No, that was a bot. It sounded like a bot, but it introduced itself with a name. Some bots do that. It's like a woman's voice. Like, hey, I'm Derek with ABC Fitness. Oh, ow! I'm crying out loud. I want to write an entire script for Owen Wilson where he's only allowed to make ow sounds the entire time. Bow, wow, wow. And that's all his dialogue for the. He's like a dog or something in a movie, but he can just. Bow, 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 bow. That is the funniest idea you've ever had. Bow wow, wow wow. Bow wow wow, yippee oh yippee a, bow wow. Please don't take it the wrong way, but isn't everything in this museum supposed to be, you know, dead? What is that? What is that? It's uh, it's, uh, it's green. It is green. There's green in history. What are you talking about? <laughs> no, the color green didn't exist before color TVs. They didn't buy the color packet. They didn't subscribe to the Adobe Pantone Photoshop combination subscription to unlock their colors. I still can't believe Adobe is charging people for colors. <laughs> so stupid. Like, we're gonna copyright light spectrums now. The tablet Vak Men Ra arrived here in 1952 from the Nile expedition. Everything in this museum came to life. Whenever they reference the tablet of Achman Ra, I always imagine like an iPad. <laughs> He's got like a Microsoft Surface tablet. I just realized something. I need if give me his hat and then look at my glasses. Sarcasm. Back at you with your Humor box. Oh my god. <laughs> we got it. We got that you don't think it was funny. Not funny. Didn't laugh. Does he not know that everything comes to life at night? Only the night guards know. Even though he's the museum director. Yeah, but he's not there at night. O only the night guards know. I feel like he would have figured it out somehow at some point. Zaya, listen, how is he going to figure it out if he's not there at night and he doesn't see it? You dum dum. You bring me gum gum? Yes, I did, fathead. Lots and lots of gum gum. Where did you get that rubber band ball of gum? Um, from the rubber band ball of gum store. <laughs> That's a taxidermied monkey. Is that just zombified? Zombie monkey. Zonky. I love him running so much. He's so aggressive. Why do you run like Captain America, bro? Calm down. You know how they say in certain museums, history comes alive? Yeah. In this museum? It actually does. I don't get why his immediate thought is to like tell everybody what's happening. <laughs> I know. <laughs> he comes alive and then guess what? It's not gonna come alive tonight and he's gonna look really stupid. Of you're me at three years old when you found out you and your sisters got lice and then you went and told everyone in the entire world that you and your sister said that. <laughs> what was the thought process behind that? I was three. <laughs> and they were like, don't tell anyone. And I was like, you mean everyone? <laughs> Uh-oh. Uh-oh. He figured out the pattern to unlock the Microsoft Surface tablet. We should do all our work on Surface tablets from now on, but we can't buy keyboards for it. I can't wait for them to all break within a year, which is a very common thing for every Surface device that has ever existed. The only time I've ever seen someone use a Surface tablet was in the NFL, and players break them by throwing them at benches. <laughs> it's my favorite thing ever. Microsoft made the Xbox, and that was good, and then they didn't do anything else good. X Xbox is like its own subsidiary company that almost has nothing to do with the rest of Microsoft somehow. It's great. Sleep tight, hot shot. 
Frodo's like gurgling nails before this movie. <laughs> Victory screech! Guys, let's all stand on these little ledges so we look cool. How did they get on the ledges? Climbing. They're like ants. They build little bridges for themselves and then they get up there. Clum. They're fighting in a single final line. It's like Pirates of the Caribbean where they go up on the masts for no reason and try to fight on it instead of just like standing somewhere. <laughs> Where are they going to plug in a USB stick into the tablet and kill all the night at the museumers? Then it'll be over. I love the spy generic music that has been in every movie ever. Did I open like GoldenEye 007 for the N64? What is that? <laughs> Bang on a pipe for the snare drum. I love this bit right here. Yeah, aside from the fact that it looks like Good Luck Charlie did the VFX for this. Good Luck Charlie. I loved that show when they would actually say good luck, Charlie, in the middle of the show. It made me so mad every time. Reginald, fellas. Ocean! Life. This exhibit that we've never seen before in the entire movie. With the floating whale or whatever that was. Wait, what? Yeah, what? Where was space whale? Why is the water not coming out that the whale's in? Why is it not in water? What? I'm assuming that that fake whale is on the ceiling somewhere, like suspended by ropes. Watch out! There was no other way to get into that diorama exhibit, whatever you want to call it. There's not like a door hidden in the back like there always is in every museum. God forbid they added a door. Listen, I need a favor. Somebody stole his tablet. You think you can track the guys who took it? Why don't you follow the tire tracks? <laughs> <laughs> That's fair. That was some NPC dialogue, though. He's like, do you think you can track it? Press A. Start mission. Video game. Do it, man. Central Park, Central Park. Movie in New York, don't end up in Central Park Challenge, Impossible Edition. I'm glad Larry from Brooklyn can ride a horse with no problem. I mean, it's not that hard. Not like a high-speed chase, but like, you know. It's not like a common skill for a Brooklyn man with like no job experience. Tataten, Achmen Rahu. No, oh, no. Now everyone's going to return to the museum. It's like a homing beacon. They should have a sky beam coming out of the museum. Sky beam, USB drive. Let's get it once and for all. You guys got to start asking us to do things that aren't movies because this is what happens when we've seen the same thing a hundred times in a row legitimately. <laughs> dance party scene to end the movie. Let's go. My funeral's just going to be a really crappy dance party where you Bernie style take my body and flail it around everywhere. All right. We survived the night at the museum. Um... Oh, there's bloopers. I can't wait for the script at bloopers. Those are really funny. If you liked this video. You know what? Watch the Santa Claus. That movie's also about divorce mostly. So watch the Santa Claus video. Or jingle all the way. This movie is fine. Like, I don't have a genuine issue with the movie. We spent a night at the museum, so we are tired. You're not wrong. It's just them mopping. I can't believe we got the special feature of them mopping. Oh, but now they're dancing. We got to see them dancing. Go I saw them dancing already. Yeah. I saw them dancing. Have a day.